An important part of the Flinders Link project is the new elevated walkway which will run between the Flinders Station and the Flinders Medical Centre. To tell us how it's being constructed is Senior Project Engineer Josh Newman. So we're currently looking at the elevated walkway install. The elevated walkway is roughly 80 metres long, it's made up of uh, 20 piles. Um, has a comprising of about 100 tonnes of concrete and uh, 60 tonnes of structural steel. Over two consecutive weekends we had uh, multiple cranes involved. Uh, span 1 and 2, which you can see behind me, were done with a single crane lift and uh, Span 3 in the background was done uh, with a dual crane lift underneath the uh, FCIC building. So we had uh, a number of constraints uh, to get the cranes on site, such as the uh, tight access up onto the car park here. Um, Getting them in underneath the FCIC building posed a number of constraints in terms of uh, turning radiuses for the cranes. We also had to review the structural uh, ground capacity for the cranes that were setting up here to lift these spans in. Uh, not to mention the uh, dual storey car park behind the span and the loading onto the car park walls. The main components for the elevated walkway were constructed off site. The main purpose of this was to minimise disruption on the surrounding stakeholders so that the installation could be done over consecutive weekends. So the elevated walkway is particularly important for the Flinders Link project as it provides direct access from the Flinders Station to the Flinders Medical Centre for pedestrians. The $141 million Flinders Link project is jointly funded by the Australian and South Australian governments. Passenger train services to the new Flinders Station will be in operation later this year.